All right, on this little chip here, it's actually got two little legs going off to the sides. So to prevent them from running on, we're gonna go ahead and drill right in front of them. There's one on each side, the left and the right. You wanna drill about oh, 2 sixteenths or so ahead of the leg. You, when you're drilling, you don't wanna to drill too far. You wanna stop before you get to the plastic. Because if you go to the plastic, it kind of doesn't really help you all that much. You can't stop them. Alright, so now that we've drilled right in front of the legs, we're going to drill into the chip itself so we can actually open it up to allow it to receive the resin. So now that it's drilled, we're going to go get our tapper. We're going to tap those on the each side of each little leg. There you go, you can probably see that one. There you go. Doing one more right there in the middle. There you go. You can see all of those. Kind of faint, but just enough to get those to open up to keep those from spreading on the legs and then again to open that up on the inside of the chip. All right, and we're going to be using the aluminum tool today. And you're going to adjust both the front and the rear so you can get it nice and level as well as make sure you're going to create pressure for the O-ring. You're going to fill some resin in there, typically three, maybe four drops. This one's got those two little spots on the edge to stop the legs from running. So we put in a couple more, probably about four or five. You could start to see that fill up. So we're going to actually go in and fill in on top of each of those little tapper spots that we did on each side to prevent the legs from running. So we're going to go in and fill those. Make sure you're doing pressure and vacuum cycles on this. You're primarily going to stay on the main one because that's the main one that needs to get fixed. But again, we want to make sure that there's keeping those legs filled so those don't fail down the road. Nice thing about this tool, you can move back and forth on it quite easily and fill those other little spots that you have to tap much easier than other companies out there. So we're going to leave that one to cure. We actually had another little small one right over here to the left of it. So we're going to go ahead and drill this one. Going to do the same process, but there aren't any legs coming off this one. So we're just going to drill this one, tap it, make that opening in there. There you go. You can see that one very well. So now that that's opened up, we can actually go ahead and start repairing it once we finish up with this other one. So this one's been curing while we've been working on the other one. Nice thing about this tool, you can go back and forth and work on other chips more than, more than just one. So it's very quick and easy to do multiple repairs. So we're going to leave that one under pressure. Did a couple, two or three pressure vacuum cycles on and off real quick. Suck the air out, push the resin in. So now we're going to leave that one to cure. And there's this other one that we were fixing. So we're going to put some pit filler on those, on each of the little spots where we drilled and then where the rock actually hit. And then put one cure tab over on top. 
a little hard to see the cure tab, but there it is right on top, right where he's pressing on there. Apparently he wants a little more bit filler, so we'll let that cure. And then this one's still going as well. I'm gonna back it off, make sure it's filling correctly. Looks very nice. So that one's done. We're gonna put some <clears throat> pit filler on top to actually fill in the glass that was removed, as well as that's the same thing that's going on with that one right there. So once you're done, you just pop that tool right off, and we'll clean the windshield once we're done. So that one's curing. That one's gonna be just about done. And you can listen if you heard that little peeling sound that means it's done so you scrape off the excess and then you make it nice and flush with the windshield that way there's nothing missing don't tear up your wiper blades so that one's all done and that one is too So now we just gotta clean up the windshield and then I'll back it off, show you from the driver's perspective and then we'll be all done. All right, and right above my finger right there was the one on the left and then right above the mirror was the other one. So, turned out pretty good. For more information, go to windshieldrepairkits.net. Thank you.